If you're wondering what that thing behind me is, it is a firewood cleaner. And for anyone who isn't in the firewood industry, that probably sounds a little silly to you. Why would you go clean your firewood? But uh, my name is Ryan and I'm with Metsa Machines. And I wanna talk a little bit about what a firewood cleaner is, or more so why you would use a firewood cleaner and what the benefits of using one are. So as I kind of said before, a uh, firewood cleaner is not something you really ever think about. Cleaning your firewood is not something that people who don't sell firewood actively think about. But cleaning your firewood is an important part of being able to present a nicer final product. After all, you can see here, all of this is stuff that has come off the wood that we have processed here at our location. And this is all stuff with it being in this trailer instead of in with the wood. This is all stuff you don't need to handle uh, when you bring the firewood inside or store it somewhere. So. If you ever look at your firewood rack in your house, or if you ever go to a restaurant and you see them using wood-fired pizza ovens or, or grills or smokers or anything like that, if they're burning wood, there's a certain level of mess that goes into that. Um, even with a cleaner, it's not gonna be perfect, but you can see here how much you can get rid of by incorporating a firewood cleaner into your process. Now, how important a cleaner is in a firewood operation is really gonna come down to uh, the kind of wood you're getting, who you're trying to sell to, and things of that nature, as well as actually how you process the wood and what you're doing to handle the wood after you split it. So here we get a lot of ash, we, get, we have a load of birch, you can see behind me we have some paper birch, some ash, uh, we get maple and, and some other specialty woods but not as often. And with birch as a really good example and actually ash as you saw there, a lot of that bark kind of peels off and flakes off and it can be very messy. Uh, with the birch load we actually got too, there's a lot of sticks, a lot of twigs and a lot of miscellaneous things in there that we really don't want in with our firewood. We're selling to people who are using it for either indoor stoves or they're using it when they're going camping or things like that. And those are gonna be a lot of the customers that you see that want cleaner firewood because they don't wanna make that mess. A lot of people who buy our wood are loading it into the back of cars or they have a trailer, um, but the people who are loading them into the back of like a mid-sized SUV, those people especially don't want all that miscellaneous stuff in there because they wanna haul it, they don't wanna make their car messy. When they get it home, they wanna bring it inside, they don't wanna mess inside. And that's gonna be the kind of uh, consumer or customer that you're looking at where you're gonna to wanna to have a cleaner product. I also touched on it where if you look at restaurants, if you're doing a lot of catering to you know restaurants where they're doing smokers, pizza ovens, things like that, uh, again, they're gonna want a cleaner space. They're gonna want to have less of those twigs and the debris mixed in with their wood that you might have if you're not cleaning it. Now, not everyone needs a firewood cleaner. And the nice thing about a lot of the firewood cleaners is they can be added into the operation after the fact. The drum style cleaner I had there, um, that one loops into the hydraulics off the conveyor. So yeah, there's actually nothing else that's needed with that if you're running a processor, like one of our processors. You just hook up the hydraulic lines and you're good to go. Uh, we also have some grizzly bars, which are uh, metal bars at the end of the conveyor. That helps add a little bit more separation. Again, those just kind of can get bolted on to the end of the conveyor. Um, there's different styles of those for different machines. Um, there's a disc style cleaner with a hopper design. That one you can set up independently from a processor or you can run it into the processor like we do with the barrel cleaner. Uh, with that one, because it's a hopper design, you're able to just dump your wood into the top. So we do have customers who will process their wood into a pile and then later down the road, once it dries a little bit and more of that bark and some of that chafing kind of peels off, then they'll dump it into the cleaner and then they stack it or load it or get it ready for sale. So there's a lot of different ways to do things. Now, people who maybe they don't wanna pay the premium or if they're using like outdoor wood stoves or things like that, you don't necessarily need to clean your firewood, as I said, but it does help reduce that mess that some customers aren't going to want. Um, if it's something that you don't deal with complaints on, it's not something you really need to think about, but if it's something that has been mentioned while selling wood, or maybe you're looking at some of those markets where they want that cleaner product, then it's worthwhile considering. Again, the really nice thing about cleaners is you don't need to buy one right off the bat. You can incorporate them into your workflow afterwards um, very easily. It's pretty easy. And even if you don't have a processor, you could still incorporate into your workflow um, by using like a independent power unit. We often recommend the Brave Pro Hydro Buddy, which is a self-powered, it's a little Honda motor. It's a hydraulic unit and that can run, the, that can run these cleaners. And I, I don't even think you have to go up to mid throttle with them. So again, Pretty easy to implement, pretty easy to incorporate, and while they're not for everyone, there are benefits to using them, and depending on who you're trying to cater to, um, it might be worthwhile investing in one. 
So with all that being said, I've got a rack full of birch and ash logs. I've got the cleaner hooked up, I've got the processor set up. I'm gonna fire all that up, fill up some crates and show you guys how everything works together.
Well, I didn't get quite as much done today as I was hoping to out here. Uh, spent most of the day waiting for trucks to show up and then they got rescheduled on me. And with it being uh, the week after daylight savings time, this is getting dark too soon these days now. So um, got most of it processed though, as you can see behind me, made a pretty good pile here. We've got, um, I can level this out and say at least, we're probably, we're probably around five, six-ish full crates. Uh, it was a little full before. Um, but that's about two thirds of a cord. Uh, a lot of small logs on this load. A lot of that birch is really small stuff. So I'm doing half splits. So um, it is taking me longer to fill the crates with those small logs, but I can just fly through them um, as I get to them, which is kind of nice. So less handling, less fighting, but also does take a little bit longer with those smaller logs. Um, cleaner works well. Uh, was still separating a lot of stuff. Uh, it is wet. Uh, we've had rain the last few days. So uh, things tend to be a little stickier when they are damp like that. Um, but we're still seeing a lot of stuff come off of the logs as they go through. And it's nice to be able to take some of the, uh, a lot of the buildup and a lot of the bark and stuff that comes off the logs in the split chamber, being able to throw that in the conveyor and have it kind of clean itself as it goes up is, is really nice. Um, Cause it, it keeps the pile from growing underneath the machine uh, because that's something else they have to do is as, as you process firewood underneath your processor is naturally going to get full of bark and debris and dirt and it's going to be important to rake things out that's actually kind of why we set up the area we have now um, now we're going to be using the sawdust to kind of create a fill and create a nice solid layer for where the processor is set up but hope this video helped answer some questions about why you might clean your firewood Hope it helped answer some questions about whether or not it makes sense for you to look at a firewood cleaner. And if there's any other questions or any comments you have, please feel free to leave them below. Always happy to hear um, from, from you guys. Um, but as always, thank you for watching and see you next time.